You would think that just owning a dishwasher would guarantee that you get clean dishes every single day, but unfortunately for many, it's a bit of a gamble. When you open that door, some are clean and others will look like this. Now this is never fun, but in this video, I'm gonna give you three easy tips that can help you solve that problem for good. The first tip is actually the easiest one to do, and that's to change the detergent that you're using. The best product I've ever used are finished Powerball tabs. I get the unscented version. They're inexpensive and easy to use. You don't measure anything. You just unwrap one of these tablets, but you wanna use this stuff because it really cleans better and your dishes will look better. If you don't do anything else in this video, this is super easy to try. Get a small box, and I think you'll be amazed with the results. This next tip is so important. Most people have no idea that inside of their dishwasher is actually a filter. And that filter is critical because when the water is circulating around inside, if that filter is clogged, you're not gonna get good flow. You should be servicing your filter at least every other month. But the good news is you don't have to replace it or buy anything. You just need to rinse it off. Now you'll wanna check your owner's manual as to where your specific filter is located, but most of them are similar to this. You're gonna start by emptying your machine, removing your lower tray, and then your filter is almost always gonna be located at the bottom. But it's not just that little grid there. You've gotta remove a part to get to the filter itself. Now in this machine, I just turn this handle and I'm able to lift it out. But now you can see what's going on in the filter and that is pretty gross and it's an easy fix. We'll just pop this filter in the sink and we can rinse all that debris off. Now you can also use a soft scrub brush and put a little bit of soap in there if you'd like to really get it completely clean. This is a simple job you can do yourself and this is one of the most common reasons people's dishwashers do a poor job and they call someone in to service them. Now our filter's looking a lot different. It even looks like it's brand new. We're ready to reinstall it in the dishwasher and we're almost ready to go. Now I say almost because that brings us to our next tip. If you want your machine to work like new, once you get your filter clean, go ahead and run an empty load in the dishwasher. But there's a couple of tricks to really help you supercharge the cleaning. And the first is to not spend any extra money that you don't have to. There are many products at the store designed to help you clean your dishwasher, but in my experience, they're totally not necessary. You've got everything you need in one of those dishwashing tablets. So just take one of your new finished tabs, put it in the dispenser, but you wanna run the machine a little differently than you normally do. Run it on your pots and pan cycle or whatever is your hottest cycle. And that combination of an empty machine, a clean filter and your dishwashing detergent are gonna scrub everything inside your machine and get it working like new again. But what if you do all these things and you're still having problems? Maybe it's your machine itself. Well, I'm gonna give you a simple test you can do to check the performance and make sure your machine is actually working. You're gonna start by going underneath your sink and we're looking for the drain hose from the dishwasher. Now in the US, almost every dishwasher connects into the drain the same way using a hose like this. Now additionally, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and get yourself a five gallon bucket or a similar type of container to hold some water. Go ahead and fill the bucket up with about two gallons of hot water. Now open your dishwasher door. You want it to be empty and go ahead and remove the lower basket. And now you can take that bucket of water and start pouring it into the bottom of the dishwasher. You're gonna to try to fill it up as much as you can without overflowing anything. So if you're nervous, just go ahead and pour as much water in as needed to cover at least that filter screen. Now go back under your sink and start unscrewing the hose that's keeping the drain line in place. And I also recommend putting a towel down because you might spill a little bit of water. Now once you've got that hose wiggled off, you wanna go ahead and put the hose into that bucket. What we're doing is we wanna check the flow of the machine to make sure it's good. So get a helper to hold that hose in the bucket and now go ahead and start your machine up on any cycle and watch what happens with the hose. This is the kind of flow you should get because every dishwasher when they first start their cycle, they begin by pumping out any water that might be in the bottom of the machine. This allows you to test the pump and if you're getting a good flow like this, your machine is pumping properly and if you're getting sputtering or not a good flow, that probably means there's something wrong with your pump or you might have a clog further in the machine. The simple test can tell you a lot and if you need to replace a pump or something more involved, you can certainly call somebody in or read more information to do it yourself. Now once you're done, of course, remember to replace that hose and tighten it up securely and you should be back in business to use your machine as normal. 
If you're seeing dirty dishes every time you open that door, you definitely want to try these three easy tips because they can make your life a lot easier and help keep your dishwasher working for a long time in the future. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already for more videos coming up.